But mine? Mine are pretty wicked. I hope. All right, so now, so they really don't have an outline for that. I am just going to, um, hmm, think about what I want to do next. So, the red is actually scarlet. I have two reds here. I'm going to go ahead and do little tests. So, the other thing is my hair is dark brown. And dark brown, black, you can actually mix other colors in especially like if they're reflecting off. So I know down here I'm gonna have reflections in here. So just judging by these, it looks like I'm probably gonna use uh, that for the scarlet. Eh. Yeah. I'm gonna use that for the scarlet. So just to see what it looks like on a paper, I know I'm gonna have the scarlet line at but at the top for the thing, and we have two eagle globe and anchors. I'm gonna have a lower one right here that's this gray, gray line. So, what I'm gonna do just to sort of see what it looks like is I'm gonna go ahead and give a little red reflection on my hair. And it's, it's, it kind of, it sort of gives your uh, darker colors a little bit of life. It also gives, and the reason I start over, over there is it gives me the first indication of how, how much, how, like how hard I wanna press into it to start, so. So as the colors go further back, they actually become lighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish in that direction. And as I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up as I go. And that sort of gives the effect that I'm looking at on a photo. Other than up here, so it starts under my chin. And here we go. All right, so those are the, so that's some of the red piping. Other than over here, we have a little more red piping. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check my blues now, and just to sort of give, I think this will start uh, giving us a little more life. So, regardless of the blue, I'm gonna add um, either a black or charcoal to it to sort of darken it in. And so black and charcoal, that's sort of like the equivalent of grayscale. And remember, I, I was an electrical engineer, cut down in the middle of my you know, prime of my career. And I used, but I used to be really smart, so. And the things that I can call up, rec, recollect right now, tend to be uh, more historical knowledge. I used to read a lot. So let's see, I have an eagle globe and anchor here, but that's sort of under my beard, so I probably don't want to have that one there. I'm going to have an eagle globe and anchor over here. And since that's light, what I want to do is I'm going to give myself a little reminder to not hit that area. And, and that's just because uh, if you end up like using an eraser or something, you know, the dark colors, the blues are really sort of blend right in. So, all right, here we go. So, and that, so, that, so that just gives me a reminder, don't, uh, don't nail it. But when I come over here, the uh, the blue and the the black actually is going to blend really well because my jacket's sort of uh, when you have blacks, it's sort of like the same thing with the whites, where it's it's, it's never like a hard black. It's always ref, you know, it's going to reflect you know something. So um, I don't want to talk about. It. I don't want to keep going that kind of down that road. I, I, I hope you guys understood what I meant. meant. Um, okay, so. Yeah, that's good. So let's see. Coming down on this side. And... I want it to be a little lower. So this, try and get it a little lower. And it's just sort of working in some of the shading, so... Um, you could use very so if you for shading, like especially for like dress blues, you could use various shades of. Uh, you could use shading through the the different blues that you have, or you mix in your your gray scale with your gray and your other thing, and you know you could probably play around with Photoshop in a photo and kind of look at the gray scale. You could probably even like turn off the color, 
and just say, hey, here's what uh, so this stuff really looks like. Anyways, I didn't want to get into all the detail down here just yet. I just kind of want to get, get this whole thing started and uh, sort of like just roughed in. And the other thing is like usually when I paint with acrylic, this is sort of how I start. Except I probably start with like a, a thicker paper. Um, and I only have one picture up. I don't. The other picture I'm kind of kind of going off my memory. It actually kind of worked out because uh, this that one guy that followed the uh, the one guy that followed my pit photo that I got his music for. Really good music too. I don't know if I mentioned it yet, he's sort of, he's got like, sort of like a, like a, a fresh, it's a fresh sound, but it's, it's like kind of the classic country sound, and, um, it, like, that, when you mention other artists, it's like, I think people sometimes think you're mocking them, like the, the new singer for, uh, Stone Temple Pilots, and so many people, you know, say, oh, he looks, sounds just like, he sounds just like, I'm just like, no, it's like, there's a lot of over, he has a lot of overlap, but, it's still unique. But this guy, so he sort of has like a Tim McGraw vibe without really sounding too much like Tim McGraw. I think that's like the best way I could describe him. Maybe like one, there's like the fourth song, I think maybe like maybe a little bit of, I don't know, Kenny Blake sort of party. You know, I, I wouldn't really consider Blake more party, but you know, it's those sort of songs. Um, but anyways, um, I have no idea what I'm talking about. All right, cool. We're gonna keep going. I'm probably gonna end up editing all this stuff out anyways. Uh, let's see. So we've got some, oh, that's what it was. I don't have a picture of the other thing, but I know it's gonna be black. I'm gonna go ahead and just start with gray. And it just, this is just gonna help remind me that it's here. Oh no. I don't wanna get in my, uh, let's see here. Right about there. I just sort of want to get into the basic shape now, and I'll kind of look it up later. Yes, your fingers get dirty. So, yeah. <laughs> That'd be funny if, if people actually use this as a first date, first date thing. Maybe I'll keep keep going that. you got to follow her some ways. But, yeah, your fingers are going to get dirty, so uh, you guys rock, paper, scissors, uh, then grab a, a nap, uh, then whoever loses has to go grab a napkin and go to the sink, and has to be warm water, come back and, and wash both your fingers. That's right, mentally crippled. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, I, I really used to drive the Freedom Wagon. Such a sweet ride. My first car though, 1973 Firebird. It was only a 350, but it had like the hood scoops. Badass. Alright, so I think I have some of the basic things. I'll, I'll get into like the skin tones a little later. Uh, so here, it looks like this background has the Marine Corps flag, and the other side is just sort of like a fake um, sky pull, pull down. So because the, this one has a Marine Corps flag, it's, it causes more red to be reflected, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do the Marine Corps flag or an American flag, or maybe both. Challenge, I guess I could, just because the, the okay, obviously I'm, I love America, I love the Marine Corps, but the flag behind it, what it does is, is it sort of causes a red reflection in the hat, which is almost sort of like flesh tony. And I think it sort of like takes away from the impact that you normally get when you see a photo in a dress blues, unless they're all like that. And it could just be that the, um, the image I took has the uh, some of the tint off. Hmm. Yeah, what do I know? <laughs> Ooh, oh, you know what? I, I forgot to take regular breaks. I'm going to take regular breaks and try and figure out what I'm doing next. And uh, you guys can go ahead and uh, refresh your drinks and do whatever the hell you want. I'm going to be back in a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to try and come back over medicated and maybe with a sense of humor. And if you have to leave, I understand Godspeed. If not, come right back. <laughs> 